Let's have a look at five ways that you can use to fold your colored shirts. This will work for formal shirts, informal shirts, polo shirts, whether you have button ups, button downs, it will all work for every type of these folds. So well, let's have a look at the standard way to fold shirts first, and then we'll have a look at some more travel and storage friendly ways after that. Let's start out here by buttoning up all the buttons here. So I'm gonna turn it around so that we have the back facing up. From here, the next step is that we're gonna split the shirt into four parts down the length of it. So I'm folding in one fourth of the side in towards the middle first like this, and we repeat the process on the other side here as well. It should line up here nicely in the middle. Now, one thing you wanna make sure here is that it is the same amount of length here up at the top near the collar, otherwise the shirt will look weird once we are done folding. Also wanna make sure that the line that goes down along the shirt here is even and the same with all along the way down. If it looks a little different on the inside here, that is totally fine. Just make sure that it meets a little in the middle downwards towards the bottom. So the next step is that we're gonna fold in the arms. We do that simply by folding them over to the other side like this and then folding them down. And again, you kind of want to create the parallel line going down the length of the shirt like this and we repeat this process on the other side as well. Now, if they overlap a little bit, that doesn't matter at all. Don't worry about it. Just make sure that they look nice and even all along the way down the shirt here. So once you're happy with how it looks, flat and nice, we're gonna split the shirt into three parts here from the bottom up to the top. And I'm gonna fold up about one third of the length of the shirt here from the bottom. And then we fold it over one more time so that it lines up here with the collar. From here, it is as simple as turning it around. Ta-da! And there you have your beautifully folded shirt in the standard way. If it looks uneven on the sides there, that is because you haven't folded it straightly. So just go back and practice. You will get the hang of it after a few tries. So if you can't hang your shirt, this is a great way to store them at home. It will always be better to hang them generally. I'm gonna do a video on that a little bit later. I'll link it up here somewhere <laughs> once it's finished. Moving on here, I wanna have a look at the modification of this fold. That is a lot more friendly for travel. It takes up less space than a traditional way to fold your shirts. So let's just get started here. So again, we wanna make sure that all the buttons are buttoned up nicely here. And then we're gonna turn it on its back like we did with the previous fold. With the back side facing up, we're splitting the shirt into three parts all along the bottom here. So fold in one side first like this, one third of the way, like that. And then we're gonna fold in the arm here. We do that by folding it all the way over and then we fold it back and down like this. That way it should run nice and parallel down the length of the shirt. If you have a short sleeve shirt, just repeat this process as well. So from the other side here, we're also gonna fold it in one third of the way. If it overlaps, that's uh, <laughs> the point, not a problem at all. So like that, it doesn't have to come all the way over. From here, we are going to fold the arm in again. So fold it over to the other side and then down like you did with the first arm as well. So from here, just flatten it out, make sure that it looks nice and presentable. And then we're splitting it into three parts from top to bottom, starting by folding it up from the bottom here, one third of the way and then repeat again one third of the way. Kind of flatten it out, make it look nice. And then once you turn it around, ta-da! There you have your beautifully folded shirt for travel. Now this one takes up a lot less space than the previous fold. A little bit of a modification you can do here if you're into file folding is that you fold the shirt back out and first split it in half here. It's gonna make things easier. And then split it into three parts here again and we fold from the collar. Again, this is gonna crease up your shirt, so do this with the less formal ones. <laughs> so like that, and then you can lift it up and place it next to your other file fold clothes. Again, don't really recommend this one, but it is pretty cool, I think. I have one really cool way that I want to show you again for travel here. But first, let's have a look at how to fold these polo shirts. You can do that really fast. Just grab a hold about in the middle of the the shoulder here at the top, and then run your fingers parallel down until you reach the bottom. Pinch that end as well. From here, just fold down under your arm, reach the bottom at the same parallel, turn around like this, lift it up, just shake it once, and then you can put it down against the table, again, finding the middle of the shoulder on the other side, 
And here we have a beautifully folded polo shirt. You can fold it over again if you think it looks a little bit big. So last but not least, let's have a look at how to fold the shirts into a roll. You know, if you know me, I am a big fan. By the way, if you want a free cheat sheet on how to fold your clothes, you can go to organizing.tv slash free and you get like a illustrated step-by-step -step cheat sheet on how to do the most popular folds over there. So and go ahead and grab that one. Let's start out here by unrolling the shirt again. I'm going to place it here with the front side facing up. Now again we want to button up all the buttons going down along the shirt. And then from here we're going to lift it up at the middle like this so that you fold it in half as you lift it. And then lay it down on one of the sides like that. Make sure everything is nice and even and lined up here. Adjust the collar. From here we're going to fold in the arms. If you have short sleeves you can just fold them over. If you have these long sleeved ones, what you generally want to do is fold them down like this so that they reach the bottom going down. You can repeat the process here with the other arm as well. Lay it all the way down over the first one. And then from here we're going to start rolling it from the bottom. You can roll it as tight or as uh, loose as you want. The tighter you roll, the more creases it will have. If you roll it gently like this, generally you'll find that you don't get a lot of creases at all actually. So once you reach the top pair, that is pretty much the fold. So a cool hack you can do with this roll is if you want to travel with, for example, your blazer, is that you lift the blazer up here like that. From here, you flip one of the shoulders inside out and then you can stuff it inside the other shoulder. This will create kind of support for the shoulder. You want to make sure that it lines up all the way down here. And then what you can do is take your shirt and you place it inside the shoulder and that will add even more support for the shoulder here. And from here, place the arm over and you can roll this one up gently as well. Ta-da! There you have some support for your jacket should you want to travel with it like this as well. Of course, it's always better to use a suit bag, but sometimes you'll need to put it in a bag, suitcase. This is a good way to travel with them to avoid creases. If you're into this type of stuff, I have a bunch more on my channel. You can check out this video next where I show you how to take your wardrobe and completely organize it using three steps. Really good video. Check that out next and I will see you over there.